Hi everyone, welcome back to another uh, uh, episode. Uh, what do I call them episodes? Where we talk they about are episodes. Yeah, are. Where we talk about stuff or to entertain everyone. As you recall, on the last uh, episode, I talk about well a little peek about like how I pee myself in sixth grade and. Now I'm gonna explain the full story. It's one of my most embarrassing moments, and I'm not quite proud of it. <laughs> Is that something to be proud about? No, I'm not proud of it, man. It's sixth grade. I know. And when you told me the story about you peeing yourself, I'm like, ah, she must have been in fourth <laughs> grade at the most. But sixth grade, you there's already some things going on in your body. But go for it. Alright, so it all began, it was on a Monday and we had chorus like up like, um, like around 10 a.m. Like right before we would go to recess. Explain what chorus is though. Well, everyone knows what chorus is. It's just basically where the teacher had to sing. Let me explain the story about being in chorus before you start. So I have something to talk about. Okay. So before she jumps into her story and then she doesn't want to explain every detail. She just wants to say I peed myself and that's it. Let me say this what chorus is. Chorus is a stupid class. Well it's not stupid. I'm pretty sure there's some people that enjoyed it. Uh, I, I the only reason I enjoyed it because they took you out of class. That's the only reason. Not, not even that. I just found the class boring. At some point. It was cool when people were would go up there and perform. Now those those were brave souls, right? They were brave people. Those who went up and performed, because I don't know why I was about to do it. Really? Yeah, and not because I wanted to, because I was with my friends and we thought it was funny. And I was like, should I go do it? And I almost went, and I think I would have regretted it my whole life. <laughs> but I could have shared a freaking awesome story, but sorry guys, I don't have a story of that. Maybe you would have enjoyed it. No, but of course, I forgot how it ran. How long did it take? Was it like one hour? One hour, one hour, one and a half. Something like that. And the reason this teacher, this singing teacher I guess, would come to the school, elementary kids. He would teach them about singing and reading notes and he never taught us to read notes well i don't know all i remember is him explaining us about the microphone how it made you sound better i remember that but the teacher took his job very seriously and everyone i remember the first time i heard about him everybody hated him because he would make you stay and sing again and to me i like to see people passionate about their jobs but um, i don't know that's cool i'm not gonna say anything negative about the teacher but <sighs> that's chorus right there people go perform any stories uh at the end of the the chorus because it wasn't the whole year it was just to us like it was no. like a semester they they would prepare you to be like in the show remember which we never showed up to a single one no, which is kind of sad the only reason I didn't show up because they would record you guys and look at me now. <laughs> Alright, go for it. Like, the reason I never went to chorus, like, I just didn't enjoy it. It wasn't just my thing. So this is what happened. Uh, I, like, needed to go to the bathroom. But the teacher wouldn't now let you go because he wasn't during the middle of class. He was talking about uh, the presentation that was coming up, as you said. Uh, we had like little shows to do after class, so he was not going to let us go to the bathroom. Oh, so it was him? Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't going to let us go to the bathroom. Like, I really needed to go. It's like you had to wait until like after the end of class. I'm like, are you serious? So I'm like almost peeing myself during class and was, once the bell rang, I'm like, oh my god, finally. I literally ran out <laughs> with someone falling along. Uh, her name was Piki. I don't know why she was along with me. It was just weird. I guess you told her that, dude, I might 
pee myself. Separately. No, I don't remember. But like, I really started running, and she was following me. I still don't know why. So I made it to the nearest bathroom that was uh, near my fourth grade class, and to my luck, it was like full. I'm like, oh my god, I really need to go. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? And she's like, uh, we're gonna have to go to the one over in the second grade, the kindergarten area. But I'm like, oh my god, that's pretty far. I'm like, uh, do you think I'll make it? I'm like, uh. I'm like, yeah, I think I'll make it. So we, we continue. Did you, did you seriously stand there and ask yourself, am I gonna make it? It was Yeah, I'm gonna make it. It's in my head. So we just started running and like. Can Vicky still follow you at the work? Yeah. <laughs> so we started I still. running. Well, I guess because she was gonna use the restroom and it was occupied, it was busy and. So she I just went with you. That's probably the reason. Like halfway there, I'm like, I know I'm not gonna make it. And is it that hard to for girls to? Sorry to keep interrupting you, but is it that hard for girls to hold her pee in? I don't know the anatomy uh, of a pee girl. Uh, <laughs> think of it this way. Think of it as a bag. Okay, I feel it too. As a guy, you feel like. Let's not get very detailed about that, but you feel like a bag's about to explode if you don't pee. So it's kind of the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. So by the time I arrive at the bathroom, uh, I don't make it to, to even the toilet. So I'm like, oh, damn. And what were you wearing? Uh, I was wearing some jeans, something like that. I can't even remember what I was wearing. Was the black jeans to be a bit better? No, I think I was wearing something white. To make it worse, yeah, the room I was wearing something white. So I'm like, I stood in the bathroom for like two minutes thinking, what am I gonna do? Let's go to the office. I, I, honestly, I was scared. I'm like, uh, I feel oh, yeah, so you, ashamed. You told me you were scared because of my mom, right? Or you weren't scared at that point? That was another time, huh? No, that was another time. Yeah. So just the, embarrassed. I was just embarrassed. And to my luck, I think I call it luck, uh, the bell rang, it was time already to go. I, I decided like, you know what, I'm going to wait until everyone goes to class. Wait a minute, you're in elementary, doesn't everyone have to line up? Uh-huh. And the teacher has to do a count, what did she do when she didn't see you there? That's what I wonder, what happened? Because I decided to wait until everyone lined up. I never even thought about the head count. Yeah. And the girl was still there with me. Like, Vicky, I told her, like, you know what, could you come to me with the office? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I didn't made it. So, like, uh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I'll come. I'll tag along. So, she followed me to the office. And I called my mom. Well, first they asked me, like, oh, what happened? I'm like, uh, do I really need to say it after, yeah. you, after you've seen it? But I'm like, oh, I just told them like, I didn't make it to the bathroom. Like, oh, okay, let's see if we could find some clo clothing for you. They were going to put me into some white skirts. And like, really, like those like old-fashioned white, white skirts? I'm like, oh, come on, I am not going to wear this. To my life, they did not fit me because I was really, really skinny and the skirt was like literally double my size. Mm -hmm. So like, <laughs> they told me, uh, oh, okay, call your mom. So I called my mom, like. So they didn't give you anything to wear? Yeah, they gave me the skirt, even though it was double my size. Mm -hmm. It looks like it looks so big. So I called my mom, like, uh, Rosie, me puedes traer un pantalón. Me ganó. It's like, uh, oh, okay, I'll take para allá. She brought me some red pants. Some like red pants, you know, the soft ones? I don't remember those. Mm hmm. Like, I miss those. Those were really warm. You're so dumb. You're talking about paint yourself and you're talking about how you miss your pants? What? It's just a recalling memory. And after she brings me my pants, um, I just go to class. 
Oh, that sucks. I would not go back to class. They still made me go back to class. If, did you tell at least tell my mom, hey, I want to go home. I don't feel good. I would have said that, honestly. I don't remember what I told her, but she still made me go to school. I don't think my mom would do that. You probably wanted to go back, or you thought it was the right thing, I guess. Because I know how you are. You wouldn't ask to go to go home. Me, <laughs> I'm out of here. But that's your whole story, right? Yeah, it's like pretty embarrassing. I, probably some of my classmates asked me like, "What happened to you?" Yeah. But that, I, I, that's pretty embarrassing. I mean, that's the reason I will go home, dude. Isn't it noticeable that they're gonna notice you that you came back with different jeans? It's pretty <laughs> obvious. I still don't know why I didn't ask my mom to go home. Alright, so I'm gonna tell some stories. I'm gonna tell two stories. I guess I was always hesitant for for me to for me for something to me to happen in school. Either getting a nosebleed or getting my shirt dirty. Because I know you go up to the office, you had to tell an adult, and they would send you to the office, and they would give you clothing mm -hmm. for you to use till your mom or dad would come to the school and bring you clothing, or till the end of the day, if they couldn't come, and you had to return in the following day. That never happened to me, of peeing myself or pooping myself. And that's a debate mm -hmm. right there. Is holding in the pee or poo... Which is worse. Which is worse. I'm s the yeah. outcome of the poo is worse <laughs> for many reasons, but I feel like it's easier to hold in, right? The poo, well, yeah, it's easier to hold in, but it's painful. No, I know, but it's easier to hold in than pee. Oh, yeah, the pee, it's like... Ooh. But the outcome of the poo is a lot worse. Uh, never mind me. And the pee, <laughs> don't even bring my name. And the pee, I mean, if you pee yourself, it's not that bad. It's not gonna smell like, oh my god, it's gonna smell a lot. It's gonna have some smell, and you might not even have a smell. But let me go to a story. The only, the only time I went up to the office to change was my shirt, because I was. It was lunch. Remember when it was lunch time? You would come out with your class, and it would suck when you would be last. Oh, yeah. The last class, because it was a big line, and you're, like, missing out on lunch. Mm -hmm. And I remember some kids would start cutting and stuff like that. I hate when kids cut. They, like, piss me off. Yeah, but we were good kids, and we didn't want trouble, so we didn't say anything. <laughs> we're cowards. Not cowards. No, I think one time we I just told them. We something. just didn't like conflict. But, like I said, so... I guess after you finished your lunch, you were allowed to go out, right? Yeah. I mean, you could just, you just literally had to grab a lunch, so people won't bother you. Well, actually, uh, if you wanted to go outside, you just had to have your lunch with you. Yeah, or bring a lunch. That's right. And I remember, why didn't we do that more often? No, no, I did. I wouldn't stay inside. I would always get my lunch and go outside. No, I know what you mean, but I mean, like, for people that brought a lunch, they wouldn't have to line up. Only one time I brought my own lunch. I don't know why we never did that. It's so dumb now that I think about it. But see how I explain my stories in detail? I'm just jump into the story. Anyone that wants to tell a story, give it in a lot of detail. So I was, I think I finished my lunch. I don't know what I was doing, but I was walking back, mm -hmm. like outside. But for some reason, I didn't go out through the other entrance to the other exit you know how you would come in from like the back of the cafeteria yeah. and you would go out and yeah so it was like and it was it was not weird but it's just hard yeah, to explain let's say like the, the back entrance is oh like yeah here the and back the, and the stage was all the way in the front and there was an exit there two. on the right two yeah exits. the right was into the school the left was outside the school mm -hmm. but i don't know why i was going back there and this girl crashed into me and she spilled all her milk on my shirt. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, I know I had to be embarrassed, go to the office. And the only reason I hated it so much, because I knew it was going to take some time. And I was going to come back to class, knock the door, and everyone was going to stare. That's the only reason I didn't want to do that. 
So they spilled the milk and first of all, I was not going to go up to the office. I was just going to stay like that. Oh my but God. the girl was like, she was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Let's go to the office. And she like, literally <laughs> pulled me to the office. And I was like, she was nice though. She was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Let's go to the office. And I changed. That's the end of the story right there. There wasn't much to it. Uh, well, I'll share more embarrassing high school stories later on. Oh yeah, I remember one, one of the things they made us do, like, like when you do your homework, your parents were supposed to sign like a planner. Yeah. I really hated that. Like, I just forgot one night for my mom to sign it, and it put me in detention, even though I did my homework. I didn't like that. Wait, how, how was it? The planner thing? Yeah, the, you were right, yes, your homework on it. And your parents have to sign. Oh, sign. that's right. I remember that a planner, they had to see all the things you did in school and your homework. Uh huh. And they would have to sign it, which was so dumb. They had to sign it, but you didn't, they didn't make sure you did it. You get me? Because I know I would mm -hmm. have them sign all the time, but did I do my homework? You made me sign one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One time I just forgot like my mom to sign it, even though I did all my homework, they still sent me the, the intention. I'm like, that's so dumb, I did all my homework. I have so many stories to tell, but let's keep this video in a reasonable link. Thanks for watching guys. Right. Please don't forget to share and comment and watch our other videos. And tomorrow we'll have another video of more embarrassing stories. Mm -hmm. Or anything you guys want, just leave it in the comments. Challenges will come back, but right now we're just doing this freaking diet. Both so, of us. Both of us. So hang in. Thank you. Yeah.